Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And one thing that I think we need to really touch on, uh, we've gone over it a little bit, but we're just going to look at it explicitly. And that's the Pythonic way. So all right, uh, relative and absolute path. So all right, let's get our, so right here, let's make sure, okay. Okay, well first off, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Notification bell and the like button. We got videos all the time, super important because we build one thing to the next. So okay, relative absolute path. Absolute path, relative. So this is relative to this. So right here, Then if I were to go in here and uh, where am I? Uh, C D A P P. There we go. So this was relative to this. So then I could go in and continue on. <clears throat> Excuse me, because we've seen what uh, import OS. Uh, OS dot get current working directory. Oh, D OS dot get current working directory. So boom, that is the absolute path. And we even have a method to get absolute path for a file. So I wanted to be very explicit in this and I went back and was scouring I don't think I ever said this, but I've talked about absolute path, even showed you the method, but I never, never, never absolutely told you. This is relative to this because this is where we are right here, and that would add to this. But this is an absolute path because it goes back to the root. So super, super, super important, and I hate that I have not explained it or touched on it. But there is a huge difference relative to where you are and the entire directions. So it's like start it, start in the middle, or start at the beginning and go to the end. So all right, real quick video today. But as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.